Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird. We're taking another look at one of the new divisions coming in the Steel Division 2 Black Sunday DLC. It releases on 17th of August. I am very excited. And yeah, we're going to have a look at another Romanian division today. Make sure you jump into the description, head into my Discord, because I will be giving a giveaway a free copy of the Black Sunday DLC on release date, which should be the 17th of August. Um, also, I am filming this in a very hot room right now, so if there is some background noise due to having my fan on, then um, I apologise for that. Okay, so the 5th Cavalry uh, Motorised Division. Is that is that what you'd call it? I'm going to try and read the actual name here. The 5th Cavalry Motorizata. Actually, that turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out, but I'm sure uh, any Romanians watching are going to absolutely uh, tell me off. <laughs> Say, don't ever try it again. Uh, the 5th Calvary Moro... Oh, we stuffed it up that time, didn't we? <laughs> They'd been earmarked for conversion into an armoured division, a process that ultimately never materialised due to the poor state of Romania's armament industry. Instead, it fought alongside the German Stug Brigade 3325 as a traditional cav cavalry division, aiming to keep Iasi from falling to the Soviets. While the formation had to retreat, it escaped complete destruction. The 5th Cavalry Motorized Division features a variety of light armored recon vehicles from pre-war AH-4s and Czech tanks to Italian AB-41s and German SDKFZ 222s with a powerful infantry component and reconnaissance force. This division lacks tanks and only has medium artillery at its disposal. Romanian pilots bring the renowned HS-129 tank killer as air support. The 5th Cavalry is an infantry-centric force nimble on the battlefield thanks to its armoured recon troops. Okay, I'm probably going to call it the 5th Cavalry from this point onwards because it's easier for me to say. And what are my expectations for it? Actually, I don't have a lot of expectations from this. Reading the blurb, I, when I'm looking at 1v1, which I tend to only pretty much look at, this doesn't seem like it's going to be amazing because although it's an infantry centric division you know it's going to lack tanks i mean recon vehicles can be good but can also just doesn't win you the game and you know medium or only medium artillery he just 129 tank killer i mean hs129 isn't amazing so yeah we'll, we'll see what this division can do we will see what this division can do. Okay, so the 5th Cavalry, wow. They weren't wrong about the lack of tanks. We can see that here. Um, but you do get a lot of units elsewhere. Um, and quite a lot of artillery, despite the fact it said there wasn't much artillery. So, in the Recon tab, we have the R1. Ooh, look at this thing. The Recon tank. It's basically just machine guns. Uh, it's basically just machine guns in a recon tank so nothing nothing too special but i like the skin it looks kind of cool it does look kind of cool uh what else do we have we have the ab horse now this thing does have the 20 mil so it can be quite good and i expect people to be taking this unit well you do get a lot of recon slots um we get snipers we do get snipers but only one sniper and the card limitations are a little bit tough oh what can we take these guys in nothing too special you're going to want to use the bmw uh we looked at the ab horse we got the ab usor um which has a braider 20 mil so this thing can yeah i mean it's just like a 20 mil isn't it yeah yeah it is it's just like a 20 mil it has a bit more ammunition so that's going to be good um i think people will take this but it's not like over the 
it's not the most amazing unit that ever lived. And then we get an R2 recon tank. Now, I think most people won't take the R1, but I can see people taking the R2. It's got a 37 mil cannon on it. Again, it's not amazing, but it does have a slower rate of fire. But it does have the HE shells, you know. I think people will take the cannon. I think they'll take this unit because it's a one point slot as well. Although, having said that, what do we have here? Kalari. Sniper teams. Um, they've got a sniper rifle. They've got a carabiner. AU, a new kind of uh, rifle, which I have no idea what it is. <laughs> um, and a Panzerfaust. And the 10 men. I mean, snipers are great. So, there's five cards of these. While I'm not quite sure, it depends. Oh, this could be infantry spam. One, two, three three four i mean you could take five cards of these you can get oh then actually the numbers are quite limiting okay that is kind of good because i would got very worried there for a moment will people take these i think people will take the lunits snipers on their own and i think people maybe in b phase will take maybe one or two cards of kalari we'll see we'll see how it pans out what do we have the uh god it's gonna be I the way I read this is Rosaiori. Rosaiori. But it's probably terribly pronounced. Uh the Rosaiori PM. Uh they have the Carabina, the ZB3U, and the PTRD. It looks like a reasonably standard squad, although they're only eight men. I think it all depends how good these weapons are. It's always difficult to tell based on the the stats because the stats don't always represent the truth um in in this game <laughs> um so yeah will people take it i think it's a, a nine cost card you only get one of them uh, yes it depends on the other infantry but a 20 point infantry unit is uh, quite a good infantry unit genuinely 20 points is it's good cheap infantry is good infantry Cheap infantry is good infantry. Oh, wow. Look at this. The Granisseri. The Granisseri. Um, they have a sniper on them. You've got snipers in the uh, Romanian infantry divisions. And you can get 12 of these and then 24 of these. And they've got snipers on them. Ah, man. This is going to be... Uh... I really hope that tank tab is bad <laughs> oh you only get one card of them though you only get one card of them interesting uh, we have pioneerly uh, which are standard pioneers really from the looks of it pioneers used to be amazing and then all the other infantry came and now pioneers are like bad I mean, they did lose one squad in A, but losing that one squad wasn't enough to make them bad overnight. It's just the way that the meta evolved. And the units that we got in, in particular, I think, from um, the fate of Finland with all of those Molotov cocktails just destroyed Pioneers overnight. They just... Pioneers are still great units, but they're just not as good as they were. And then we have Pioneery Kalari. Um who are almost the same as the Pioneers, but it's like the Romanian version of the Pioneers. Yeah, so it, again, it just depends on the rifles. It depends on the Beretta. It does have 150mm range, so that is similar to the uh, Finnish submachine gun. Again, I don't know how good it is. Uh, the Carabiner, I, I just... It all depends on these weapons as to how good the unit is. Um, we have the uh, Rosiori, um, which I thought we'd seen before. Oh, it's the Rosiori PM. And then we have the Rosiori. The Rosiori PM have the PTRD, and they don't have the Beretta. Um, so I think you're probably more likely to want to take the Rosiori. Really? Uh, we have some LT Pioneery. Reasonable. 
Uh, we have the LT Rosiori. They have the Panzerfaust and three Berettas. Actually, I quite like the look of this squad, but you only get two of them in A, which is a little bit difficult. We got the Pioneery Assaults. Oh, these look basically like Stone of Iki with the double flamethrowers. Um, and the eight submachine guns although this is a different submachine gun it's not the beretta it's the arita so it only has a 100 meter range but you yeah these guys are going to be the heavy forest killers of this division you only get one squad though oh and look what's following it molotov cocktails <laughs> the rosori assault um they're going to be great. You're going to want to take these. Oh, you are limited a bit on numbers, though. So you're probably going to want them in B phase. Wow, we got Baglai Grenadiers in here with eight MP44s. Where did they come from? Where did they sneak in from? I mean, the problem with Baglai units right now is they're really expensive. These used to be killer units. Beglites, especially Beglite Pioneers, I mean, they still are fantastic units, but they're so expensive compared to current costs of infantry units. They just get blown out of the water. And then we've got the Lieutenant, uh, the LT Pioneer Cagliari with a Panzer Shrek on the leader unit, and you get three of them. Oh, yeah, because that makes sense. What? You only get two of the units that have the Panzerfaust. But you get three of the units that have the Panzerschreck. That's really strange. But yeah, I'm going to be taking the Panzerschreck unit. Why wouldn't you take the Panzerschreck unit? And actually having a look at this deck in a bit more detail, they have some strong infantry, but actually the number of slots they have is not out of this world. So... The sniper units worry me a little bit. I can't even find them. They've got the Grand Sierra. No, you only get one unit of sniper card. Um, yeah, this division actually, uh, looking back, this is your mainline infantry division, and then everything else is specialised. These are 25 points, so in the current meta, 25 points is expensive for a mainline infantry squad. So, yeah, actually looking back, this looks okay. This doesn't look too bad. I'm I'm thinking 1v1 in my head. There's a lot of cool units in here, like a lot of um, specialized units. I think this is going to be a great division as long as you learn how to play it and as long as you... Um, practice with it and become very skillful if you become really skillful with this division i think this could be a great division is it going to be like overpowered no i don't think so looking at the infantry unit but the reason i the reason i talk about this when i'm looking at the infantry tab shows the current meta the infantry tab almost defines how good a division is in 1v1 play wow <laughs> <laughs> the insights the insights guys the insights and um, we have the tank tab panzer 2 looks um i mean panzer 2 looks are good because they're 20 mils but they're not amazing and then we get stugs but you can get these in b phase so i think most people will go panzer 2 looks a phase stug 3g's b phase and that will be the tank tab 10 stugs in total is it enough yeah a lot of 20 mils this deck could be quite good for Zell because those 20 mils can just power everywhere this might struggle against the sherman division though because 10 stugs is not enough we'll have to see what the anti-tank tab looks like um support tab we get the gendarme yep we get the Schwarloos, which looks like a basically a similar to a, a Maxim. We get the ZB53, which looks like an MG34 from the picture, but it might be completely different. I have no idea whatsoever. You do get four cards of these, so the Russia, uh, the Ro <laughs> I keep saying the Romanians, 
It's because the R, when I'm reaching for the R, I'm going for Russian. The Romanians get a lot of MGs. We get a Breda AC 47mm infantry gun. 20 rounds a minute, 55mm of penetration. This thing can take out transports, but it can't really take out tanks above the... Um, the very cheap 20 mil tanks you know the tiny tanks t60s you know it's, it's anything t34 sherman above it's gonna sh it's, it's not really gonna be able to take out but he does have a 20 round a minute firing he cannon and this is the thing about this unit people are gonna take this because it fires he at 20 rounds a minute and actually sorry it's 23 rounds a minute because you have no choice here you get six of them uh, this is a good unit. Definitely take this unit. You get Hotchkiss machine guns, which would normally be great, but I said the other day about the fact they fire on armored targets, so there is that to contend with. We get the SBW MIC Commandant. We get the BMW R75 Commandant. We get the Commandant. So, you know, we all know which one people are going to pick. <laughs> oh, the anti-tank tab. We've got a Solothurn anti-tank rifle. Wow. There are a lot of slots here. How many actual? One, two, six. We've got eight cards and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots. <laughs> so you can take everything. If you want to take everything in this anti-tank tab, you can take everything. We have a bracketed Kuba wagon. We have some Panzer Shreks, and I think you'll probably take these <laughs> because you can take everything. Especially because there are only one point slots for the first four, so I think you will. We will see Panzer Shreks taken. Uh, we got some M32 AC. It's basically the M42 gun from the Russians. We are going to see these taken. Although, how many cards? We got four cards available. I think most people will probably opt for two cards. Um. And then they will rely on the Rosita AC 75 mil. And we'll probably see a card in A and a card in B taken of this anti tank gun. Anti air tab. And it's basically. Ex no, it isn't. It isn't. So we get Hotchkiss. We get Hotchkiss with more Hotchkiss. <laughs> <laughs> um we get bofers just stick a bofers there <laughs> yeah we guess oh we get bofers with hotchkiss actually that's quite a good uh pairing although they are 120 points bofers with hotchkiss guys and then we get the vickers aca 75 mil i've never seen this unit first time for everything guys a vickers 75 mil anti-aircraft gun that can pen 105 millimeters 145 millimeters i'm playing this division just to play this vickers aca gun because i'm from the uk and you know that's what happens <laughs> i can't help it it's all the romanians out there are like yes we got romanian romanian divisions in the game i am so excited and i'm here like Yes, we've got a Vickers ATA-75. <laughs> you get two cards of them. Love it. Love it. And we get the flat Flatvilling. Oh, you can get these in C phase, which sometimes they're limited to. Most people will take them in B phase. I think most people will take the Bofors with the Hotchkiss. Or without, depending on your income choice. Uh, you'll take the SDKF Z71 in B phase, and then you'll spread in a Vickers here and there. Maybe... B and C phase. That's a likely option. Artillery tab. We've got the artillery. The artillery. Uh, we got some 60 mils. Checking the transports. 81 mils. Very similar. We got some F-22 guns. I mean, this thing said that they were lacking medium artillery. Didn't they say they were lacking medium artillery? I'm gonna have to go back and check. What is this thing? It's an off-map plane with cluster munitions but are they they are he clusters okay don't worry guys 
Don't worry. <laughs> it's not overpowered. They're AG clusters. <laughs> um, wow. This is... What is that guy doing? What is that guy in the centre doing? <laughs> no! Remember, guys. <laughs> I can't look at it any longer. <laughs> <laughs> remember guys this is an early access version this is an early access version um <laughs> i'm sorry this thing has totally thrown me this this unit has totally thrown me what size is the uh artillery it's 152 mil you can get one in A, two in B, and three in C. And you know what? People are going to take it. But there's only one card. Um, I look forward to seeing this unit in action. We've got some 120 mils. And then we've got the M30s that have the heat shells. So they have the AT capability on them. Let me go back because I want to read this blurb very quickly. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Cavalry, what does it say? This division lacks tanks and only has medium... Oh, okay, so it only... Hang on a minute. It only has medium artillery at its disposal. Come on. Oh, why did I just do that? <laughs> this thing only has medium artillery at its disposal. So what are these? What are these? What are these 60 mils? What are these six... What are these 81 mils? Oh my god, you get six cards of 81 mils. Wait, what? I mean, yes, I would class uh, an F-22 in medium artillery. Uh, I would class the 120 mil mortars. I would probably class that as medium artillery. Um, although I'd class it as a mortar unit, but it's still medium. And the OB M30, I mean, personally, I would start, I would class that as heavy artillery. I mean, it's two millimeters more, but two millimeters makes all the difference, guys. <laughs> but yeah, what are these guys doing here? What are these guys doing here? Eugene, you said it only has medium artillery. So what are all these mortars doing here? <laughs> Angry Bird holding Eugene to account since 2019. <laughs> Okay, let's move into the air tab. What do we have? We have a JU-88D1. Uh, this thing can only target aircraft, and uh, so it probably won't get used. We got the IAR-37. This is similar to the air uh, off-map artillery plane. It does have 50 kilogram bombs on them, and it's got 12 of them. So, I mean, that's like 500... Uh, sorry, 600 kilograms of damage, so... This thing actually, and it's 55 points. This thing is going to be a, I predict this thing will be a starting unit for a lot of people that play this division and uh, want to play with a starting plane. I mean, it's classed as a heavy bomber. I mean, I personally would call it a medium bomber, but, you know, two millimeters, guys, makes all the difference. IAR 80M fighter plane. I think we saw this in the other division. Is it basically a... Is this a Romanian plane? Or is this like a Fokker Wolf in disguise? I don't know the answer. <laughs> but I'm going to pose the question. 80 points. It's got some decent cannons on it. And you can get four of them in A phase. Ooh. I'm starting to see a picture of A-phase planes. We've got the ME-109E7, which I've said before I absolutely love. Oh, I didn't notice that before. It's got like a... Is that Alice? Alice! Alice! Who the... Yeah. And it looks like that guy is shot down. I don't know whether that's... Oh, Donald Duck on the back! Maybe I, I shouldn't show that. I, I could get taken down, guys. Quick, turn the skin off. Turn it off. Oh no, cover it. Cover the skin. Cover the skin. I get taken down for showing Donald Duck. Oh no, I shouldn't say it. They're listening. They're listening, guys. And um, we got the JU87D3. Quickly moving on. This thing is a beast at cluster 
planes. If this thing gets on target, I don't think I've ever seen a JU-87 <laughs> miss. If this thing actually drops the payload. Um, so yeah, you're going to want this plane. And you're probably going to want to take it in A phase because usually they can get shot down quite easily once the enemy establishes an anti-air net. Uh, we have the IAR-80 MBR-21 rocket plane. Oh wow, look at these rockets. Really interesting that it's got a massive rocket housing and then a tiny rocket inside. Is that just me making a dumb mistake here? Or is that... Oh god, am I making a dumb mistake here? I think I am. I think I've just worked out. Is that the fuse? Is that like the fuse for the rocket? So that thing hits the ground and the fuse, you know, smacks in and the rocket explodes. I think that's what it feels like. I think that's what it feels like. Uh, yep, yeah, Angry Bird making mistakes since 2019. And uh, then we get some ME109 G4 R6s. This is going to be your B phase plane, and I love the skin. What is with the Romanians and their love of Disney? <laughs> is it me? Is that a thing in Romania where Disney is just like the most amazing thing ever? <laughs> I'm just. Don't take me down. Don't take me down, Walt Disney. <laughs> um, what else do we have here? HS1, oh, wow, this guy's intense. <laughs> this, oh, is it the duck thing? Is that the reason? Because they got ducks. I mean, why is Donald not on this plane? That is what I am asking. Angry Bird asking the important questions since 2019. Wow, this thing has clusters. This has clusters. It's a HS129 cluster plane. Yeah, very interesting. You can get three four or six come on eugene they need to change that and we have a he 111 h3 and this thing's done a lot of bombing 850 kilogram bombs let me do some quick maths um um 200 kilograms i hope hoping i'm right on that 120 points for 200 kilograms there aren't many planes in this game that carry 200 kilograms i think the only issue with this is it's not 200 kilograms in one spot it depends on the um kind of drop um spread of the bombs when they drop as to how amazing this unit is i mean this should be really good at taking out clumps of infantry or at least like heavily hurting them against this actually might be quite good at taking out a, a couple of tanks things like Sherman's in a big group that thing might not be bad at taking them out um you are kind of limited on the number but I understand that with two two um thousand kilogram planes and then we get the JU-88A4, uh, two, four 250 kilogram bombs and 16 50 kilogram bombs. So how many is that? God, slow maths. Um, what have we got? A thousand kilograms there, and then five, a uh, thousand there. So another two thousand kilogram bomb plane. But for some reason, that one's 35. Uh, sorry, 15 points more than the other one. It fires. If it fires, it, it flies 50 kilometers per hour faster. There's no difference in agility, no difference in resilience. It just has the guns that are slightly different. I mean, personally, I think eight 250 kilogram bombs is better than the loadout, including the 15, 16 50 kilogram bombs. So why is the JU-88 not 120 points and the HE-11 not 135 points? That would be a question for me. And there is the defense. Yep, yeah, that's the defense. Right, let's assess this division. Actually, this division took a really weird turn because I was looking at it as an infantry tank uh, spam division and then it kind of turned into a, an air spam division. 
um will this division be you know overpowered be proper meta no i don't think it will it is a bit lacking in the tank department they said that in the description um you can basically only get 10 stugs really from a 1v1 perspective which uh, the division is going to struggle against shermans unless you take shermans out in other ways this is going to be a good division this is going to be a good division is it going to be super 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 overpowered and meta i don't think so but i do think this is going to be a good division it's another good division that's you know plenty of good divisions coming from this um dlc from uh eugen from the black sunday dlc is certainly from a 1v1 perspective let me talk about my favorite unit you know what i'm gonna select <laughs> just because it made me laugh so much <laughs> This is an early act. This is an early access. <laughs> but I have to pick the IAR 39A because it made me laugh so much. It is the first air artillery observer plane with a HE cluster payload. So it is a first among men. It is a first among <laughs> angry birds talking about. Uh, Eugen Games since 2019. I'm really looking forward to this unit, seeing it in action. Yeah, and let's see how those cluster HE munitions do. They are probably going to do really, really badly, but uh, maybe Eugen have tweaked it as they've been working on this division, and they have now a second HE cluster plane to add to their collection. <laughs> That's it from me, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed these previews. Make sure you've subscribed. Don't miss any more of the previews coming at you. And remember, I am giving away a copy of um, Black Sunday DLC for Steel Division 2. In order to uh, win that, all you have to do is enter the, dis the uh, description, click in the dis Discord, and the instructions will be in there. Basically, a bot just takes care of it, and uh, it picks someone at random and... We're going to give it away on release day, which should be the 17th of August, as long as nothing changes. And if you want to watch me play the divisions as well, remember, subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my Twitch channel. <laughs> yeah, just subscribe to my Twitch channel. Um, yeah, just jump in the description, link to my Twitch channel, Angry Bird Live, and come watch me play the new divisions live. There we go. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching guys. I am Angry Birds. I will see you next time